Hi, I'm Dr. A.J. Chua and welcome to Adjusting Your Heart. First and foremost, I'd like to congratulate Surgeon Heidelin Diaz, the Queen of Philippine Weightlifting, for winning the gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics. This is the Philippines' first ever Olympic gold medal since we joined in 1924. You truly lifted the hearts of the Filipino people, especially during this pandemic. I'm going to feature her as well as other Olympic athletes to inspire all of us to achieve our dreams by changing our mindset. That's because I'm going to talk about how to get rid of negative thoughts. My first point is discard negative thoughts immediately. None of the Olympic athletes would be able to compete much less win if they harbor a lot of negative thoughts. If Heidelin Diaz focused on negative thoughts like, I'll never get out of poverty. I've already joined the Olympic three times and the first two, I went up empty handed. I even got a did not finish result while competing in the women's 58 kilogram weightlifting at the London 2012 Olympic games. Yeah, I did bagged a silver medal in the 2016 Olympics, but how can I get the gold medal this time? I tell you, if she keep on thinking about these negative thoughts, she would never have bagged the Olympic gold medal. My friends, our minds are very, very powerful. Our thoughts affect the way we feel and the way we act. We may not be athletes, but we are also bombarded by a lot of negative thoughts. Thoughts that heighten our anxiety, dampen our spirits, and hinder us from achieving our potential and causes rifts in our relationships with others. My friends, don't dwell on these negative thoughts. Just discard them immediately. Because if you keep entertaining them, like, oh, I'm not as good looking or as rich or as famous as so-and-so, you'll be wallowing in self-pity the rest of your life. You might also become envious or jealous of others. So if you want to, you can check out our previous videos on Be Happy, Live Without Jealousy and Be Happy, Live Without Envy. But what if the negative thoughts are fueled by the people around you? Here is what Elaine Thompson Hera, the second fastest woman in history said. I see all the bad comments. I take all of my losses, all of my defeats, and I use them as my motivation. This Jamaican sprinter nabbed her third Olympic gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics. So my friends, you can't control what others are going to say about you, but you can control how you react towards them. My second point is replace negative with positive thoughts. Instead of comparing yourself with others, just be a better version of yourself. Be grateful for what you already have and strive hard for the things you still want to achieve. I've talked about this in my previous video, The Winning Mindset for 2021. There, I talk about we have to aim high, we have to work hard. And that's what Heidelin Diaz did. Instead of wallowing in self-pity after her two unfruitful attempts in Olympics, she kept working hard. Look at this picture of her calloused and blistered hands. Not a pretty sight, but that's the price she has to pay to win the gold. Moreover, she recorded a 97 kilogram in the snatch and an Olympic record 127 kilogram in the clean and jerk for a total of 224 kilogram, which is also an Olympic record. Heidelin Diaz triumph paved the way for more Filipino athletes to get the support and funding they need. In fact, Philippine Sports Commission, Mr. William Ramirez said, I have always said experience is an advantage. Heidelin took four Olympic cycles to finally attain her golden dream. So this is now known as the Heidelin model. My third tip is interact with positive people. Heidelin Diaz had a team behind her. It's called Team HD. It includes weightlifting coach Kaiwen Go, strength and conditioning coach Julius Naranjo, also her boyfriend, sports psychologist Dr. Karen Trinidad, and sports nutritionist Jeanette Aro. 
And on the day of competition itself, Dr. Trinidad asked Diaz to count on fellow Olympian Marjolin Didal for good vibes. Why? Because Didal went viral for her sunny disposition in the skateboarding finals. Look at her pictures or videos. Even after she fell, she would smile. And even though she finished seventh out of the eight finalists, but it's okay because it's her first Olympic Games. Tokyo Olympics official social media posted a picture of her, of this Cebuano skater with a caption, this will be known as the Marjolin Didal seal of approval. Her philosophy in life is, the moment you ride a skateboard, it's like you don't think of anything else. You just want to ride. You want to enjoy it. And the best way to skate problems is through a skateboard. So enjoy and treasure every moment. And she won the gold medal at the 2018 Asian Games in Indonesia. All of us need a team. People who want us to succeed. And people who would help us succeed. So I hope that you would find your team. My fourth point is meditate on God's Word. Did you know that the Bible is a great book that can improve one's mental health? It contains a lot of promises and practical tips on how to handle the challenges of life. I read the Bible every morning when I wake up and I read it again before I go to sleep at night. And by the end of this year, I'd have read it 34 times. Now you know the secret of my positivity and optimism. In Philippians 4, 8, it says, Fix your thoughts on what is true and good and right. Think about things that are pure and lovely and dwell on the fine good things in others. Think about all you can praise God for and be glad about it. That's from the Living Bible Version. And when you feel ugly and useless, read Psalm 134, verse 14. It says, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And when you feel so stressed and you feel that you can't go on, claim Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And in case you're encountering some financial problems, then claim the promise of Philippians 4.19, and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. How to get rid of negative thoughts? The four points are discard negative thoughts immediately, replace them with positive ones, interact with positive people, and meditate on God's Word. My friends, I'd like to share two good news this week. First is that we're now in Facebook ads. Thanks to Ian Ching, an MGC member, together with his lovely wife, Richie, and also son Clarence. Actually, they came from the States. He worked at Microsoft for 12 years, and he's a social media advertiser. He said that he wanted to help me reach out to more people. So he's the one who funded it and he's also the one who is uploading it in the Facebook ads. And look at the results. Just one ad. He ran it uh, for the Be Happy Live Without Jealousy. Look at this, the chart that I'm going to show you. It reached 7,400 people and 590 people engaged with it and 431 people reacted or liked it and it was shared by 12 people. So in case your business also needs social media advertising, you can reach him in Facebook. Just go to Mont Lake Consulting. Another is that for the first time, somebody that I quoted messaged me in IG, in Instagram, Bronnie Ware. She's the one that I quoted about be happy, live without regrets, because she wrote the book on the top five regrets of the dying. So thank you, Bronnie Ware, for encouraging us. Bronnie Ware messaged me in IG. Of course, I thank her. And I told her that all of my videos have a Chinese version. And she replied that, oh, her books have also a Chinese edition. And I would like to thank people who have encouraged us. Abigail J. Patiles, Andy Spiritu, Antonina Ignacio, Baji Lim, Eleanor Villaflores, Earl Place, Espinosa Fernando Kime, Franz Jurelia, Herma Pagia, Hopper Fei Mao, Jody Filipino. And she watches in, in two versions, the Chinese and the English one. MJ plays Roblox, Nuri Jim Valencia, Pasita Palero Zalazar, and Purificacion La Chica. 
So if you're blessed by this video, please like, subscribe, and share it to others. And see you next Friday as I talk about how to get rid of a toxic habit.